In this video, I'm going to make a direct comparison between the Alu Innovations and Alu Cab Hercules roof conversion to my troop carriers, introduce a similar conversion done by Alu Cab to the 76 Land Cruiser, and a proposal that the same may be possible with the new Ineos Grenadier. I'm Andrew St. Pierre White. Join me as I share my passion for building four-wheel drive trucks and traveling to the remotest parts I'm of the world. Of These videos are made possible by contributions from Patreons. Join the Patreon family now. If you are considering purchasing the Alucab Hercules or the Alu Innovations Troop Carrier Roof Camper Conversion, I am one of few people I reckon that have owned both and um, some of you may know that the uh, the Hercules was partly uh, I was involved directly in the Volvo in its development in South Africa in 2011 and 12 I was my was my vehicle was the prototype that actually had the very very first one fitted so what do you think oh, this is very cool. hey it's oh, nice eh? Yeah. proof will be in the pudding but I think it's gonna work out really nice the concept was my idea and then expanded and then improved over the years by the team at Alucab and many of those people still work and run Alucab at the moment and they have improved it. Yes they have, no, that, without question. Alu Innovations, a new kid on the block, actually started by somebody who was, um, who was on the team that developed the Hercules while I was there. He left, started his own business and called it, calls it Alu Innovations. And they have created a very similar product. To be honest, I chose it because it was a new product that I wanted to try and that I'd had two Hercules on, on vehicles and knew it well. And I thought, great idea to put on a new product to be able to give you this review. If I hadn't, I wouldn't be standing here now with you doing this review. I have now slept in it for a total of four nights. I've uh, worked with it and do I like it very much? Of course, the question is, right now, if I was to build another troop carrier, which one would I choose over the two? The outward appearance of the two is what actually sets them apart. Not only when it's closed, but when it's open too. Because the Alu Innovations has, oops, a wrong hook. Because the Alu Innovations has two uh, on each side of these uh, struts holding up the I put a thing there and that's got in the way. I'm going to have to bend that. All right, so um, the little awning is nicer on this one. It does have the four bars instead of two. A little wider. I don't always use it actually when I'm camping. I sometimes, you may have noticed, I just sometimes just strap it down on the, um, with, the, with the elastic. But you can see that's pretty nice. Definitely nicer looking, and yes, it does afford a lot more shade inside the tent itself, but it's not a lot more. All right, it's, it's more aesthetically useful than it is practically useful in real life, but it is nice. It is, it is, a, is a plus. The design of the Alu Innovations is a clear, as far as I'm concerned, is a clear winner. I love the way this thing looks. The way the angle cuts, they've increased the angle here, angle in here, all the way along. They've run loading rails all the way to the front and not stopped here. Uh, they may have now extended them in the, on the Hercules. I'm not 100% sure. Check that if that's important to you. But the, but the overall look is lower profile. In fact, I believe the measurement on this is a 42 millimeters higher than the standard car. That's that much. That's really not much for a full conversion. But why did they do that? Well, just not just for aesthetics, yes, great. I suppose it might improve fuel consumption. I haven't noticed a difference. 
but it, what is obvious is that inside, when the roof is closed, there is, uh, it's a little lower than the Hercules. For those of you that don't quite understand how this works, I stand inside the vehicle. There is a hole cut in the roof. And when I want to sleep, I grab the bed, I pull it down, and then I climb up and I sleep. And when I'm finished sleeping, I push that up. And I, I'm proud to say that was my idea. Now copied by quite a few manufacturers, but anyway, that is what gives the Alu Innovations and Hercules an edge over products, many products made in Europe, conversions to the troop carrier where you are asked to stack cushions before bedding. And where do you keep the cushions during the day? They lie, they lie around. This is a far, far more practical solution. So in other words, if you're inside with the roof closed, there's less headroom. The idea behind that was, well, if there's a deeper well, then one of the problems with the Hercules, uh, I, I, and I found it not, not a problem, problem is probably the wrong word, um, one of the challenges with it, you, when you want to close it, you lay out your bed, you lay out your sleeping bag or your, your duvet and everything, you remove the pillows, because if you don't remove the pillows, you can't quite get it down, because there's not enough height to carry the mattress and the mattress topper, both of the standard mattresses, both of them, are terrible, with a capital T. So you either replace them completely, or you put a mattress topper on them. I've put a mattress topper on both. I've now come back from another trip uh, with Gwyn, so two of us sleeping in the top, and I'm going to add to this review a number of additional conclusions. I'm going to start with the height advantage. Yes, the Alu Innovations has more depth in the tent itself. I'm not sure how many millimeters that is, but it's more, which allows a thicker mattress. The mattress they have supplied is no less uncomfortable than the thinner Alucab mattress. So the overall gain is zero. So unless you change the mattress, not add a mattress topper to make it more comfortable, as I have done, there is no advantage. In fact, there is a disadvantage because this is a little bit lower, not a lot, but it does restrict the height. I can open my fridge while the roof is closed. That's been around a long time. This hasn't been a long time. So this is still in its, you know, they're tweaking things and getting things better. Mattress, you need to sort something in the mattress. Mattress, ridiculous. Okay, um, but what? You see, here's the thing. The real measurement is, in real life, has it made a difference to the operation of the vehicle? And the answer is, not really, no. I still have to put my pillows down. With this, I cannot put my uh, mattress bed topper, duvet, and pillows. There's not enough, I cannot close it. There's not enough height. The loading rails on the Alucab Innovations is a design, I'm a bit surprised by it. I've been struggling to find um, items that actually fit in the rail. I've managed to eventually find one. It's made by Rhino Rack. I think it's a mistake for them not to supply a box of 10, whatever, with every um, tent they supply because the standard units that you buy in the shops do not fit in the Alu Innovations load rails, but they do with the Alucab Hercules. There are also consequences to the design. The, the more sleek, it kind of follows the line of the roof rack, is that the actual bedding area on the Alu Innovations is approximately 30 millimeters narrower. Is that a deal breaker or deal maker? Maybe. It is noticeable that it is narrower. It's only 30 millimeters, but I felt that we were a little bit more cramped in this one than in the Alucab Hercules. These are not wide tents, but they're long, and that does 
mean a lot in terms of comfortable. Neither are uncomfortable for two people to sleep in. Because it's a very long bed, you don't actually find yourself sleeping like this. Even in the camper that I had, I found the two, and which was much wider than this, I found the two of us sleeping together like this it was a little bit cramped. And I couldn't really sleep like this because there wasn't a length. Here there is the length. So when you sleep in this, two people sleeping in this, you'll find yourself sleeping not shoulder to shoulder, but shoulder to waist, something like that, which makes that width difference, I think probably of no real consequence. Lighting. Alucab have not updated their lighting as I thought that they had might, might have. And in terms of the lighting built into the tent, the Alu Innovations is a clear, clear winner. In fact, the Alucab Hercules lighting is poor. I changed mine on both of mine. They haven't changed it. And this, I'm leaving it as it is. The difficulty in fitting, it's not a, this is not a DIY fit, okay? Really forget it. A, in Australia, you need um, engineering certification, uh, but no matter where you are, it's, uh, you better be really good at this kind of thing before you attempt to cut your car to bits and fit one of these things. It's not that it's difficult, it's that it's so easy to mess it up catastrophically. Even today, I have seen some horror stories of these being fitted. My recommendation to you is, and these are not common, but they're there. My recommendation is very simple. Find somebody who has had it done and ask them where they had it done and if they're happy. That's all I'm saying about this. Back to the subject at hand, Hercules or Alu Innovations? I, I, let me put it to you this way. It doesn't matter which one you buy, you're not gonna be disappointed. Um, really, I, I, I just don't have a preference one way or the other. I just, I wish I did. The thing is that if I did, you would all rush out and go and say, okay, well, that must be better then. Actually, one is not better than the other. They're not. They're both great. Sorry. The configuration of this vehicle allows this kind of conversion because it's a van and it has a solid framework from the behind, immediately behind the doors. This is also raised, it's higher at the front, which, which gives space. Now, um, Alucab made the Icarus, which was basically uh, the same conversion for Land Rover Defender. That, again, has a raised roof, a lifted roof, so there's enough space for it. And they did that fairly early on, and I think that's a very, been a very successful product for them. But, they, but the 76, the Land Cruiser 76 isn't. Land Cruiser 76 is a station wagon, five door station wagon, and they managed to do it. Now, at this moment, I haven't actually seen it. And I, I'm excited about it because if you can do that with a station wagon, then, well, then the, the sky's the limit. But it, I look at that and I look at the Ineos Granadier and think to myself, Okay, what is the roof, maximum roof loading of the Grenadier? I really hope it's more than, for example, Land Cruiser 300. It's only 90 kilograms. Epoxy 90 kilograms. <clears throat> That's not enough. We want more than that. Um, but imagine that, because so the convenience here, the reason why it's so, this is not a rooftop tent is that <clears throat> I can climb inside and sit inside and do stuff inside. If the weather gets bad, I can make a meal inside. I do my editing and my data transfer from my filming inside, out of the dust. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do it outside here in a table or in cre create some kind of enclosure. There, I don't need to do it. So I love this concept. I think it's fantastic because of the speed at which it, it, it comes up, it's erected, and the speed at which it's it's taken down again and the sheer convenience 
<clears throat> is wonderful. And as a, as, a, as a result of that, uh, imagine that in a grenadier. But on closer inspection, perhaps not. Because of the switching in the roof of the grenadier will eliminate or potentially eliminate any major roof conversion work. Or oh, because then you've got those back doors like you have in the 76. But the 76 is never... I owned a 76. I've owned all of these 70 series Land Cruisers. And to be honest, it's not... It doesn't float my boat much. And I'll tell you why. Because this, the 76 is a wagon, it's a station wagon, and it has all of the appeal of the 70 series, which is a lot of people just like that kind of retro feel. I do too. And the practicality of it, it's hugely practical, but it's not big. It's not a big vehicle. It's actually quite a small vehicle. Considerably smaller than an Ineos Grenadier. So again, for a troop carrier, for two people, fantastic. For more than two, it doesn't really work very well because access is limited. But for two people, it's, as I've said, I think the best recipe imaginable. But these images sent to me by Alucab made me smile. It's the new 70 series with the Thor conversion and all of Alucab's accessories fitted. And like the Icarus Land Rover Defender, which was so well equipped, it was awful to drive because the center of gravity was too high that I considered it dangerous. But it was an accessory showcase and they've done exactly the same here. Jerry cans on the roof? Bad idea. Too much weight high up. Low bars on the Thor roof. You can't put a lot of weight up there because it's too difficult to open. And if you add the stronger air springs, impossible to close when there's nothing loaded on it. So the gadgets shown here attached to the rising roof have little practical value, but some of the others look very interesting. But I do like the idea of the Thor very much indeed. The, uh, the 76, for if you do this conversion on the 76, you can put four people in it, but the two other people are still going to need somewhere to sleep. They can't sleep on top. Only two people can sleep on top. Then you need to take camping equipment and tents for the other two people. So the Ineos Grenadier, same problem. Exactly the same problem. To carry four people in the, in the Grenadier, is, is, you know, with a, with a setup like this. So again, the Grenadier doesn't actually give us any advantages over products that we already can get, but for the fact that it's unlike all these other products, so highly, I can't be bothered getting a spoon, so highly um, adaptable adaptable and that's this and it's the key to me it's the key to the of the success of the of the grenadier is that it is obviously so hugely adaptable it's perfect for the four drive enthusiast for me how perfect we'll see in the months ahead so a brief rundown i do think that the alu innovations looks better both open and closed it has a lower profile. Those of us with a limited height in our workshops will appreciate that. It has far better interior lighting. The load rails run full length. However, none of these can you put a lot of weight on the roof. It's just not practical. The sunshade is broader, not a big deal to me, and it's definitely quieter at speed. The Alucab has a wider sleeping area. That's quite a big one for me. The load rails themselves are more practical. You can find fittings far easier. And there's a little more height in the cab when the roof is closed. Now, just looking at this list, it looks like the Alu Innovations has got so many more pros than the Alucab, but it, it, no, that's misleading. They are both excellent. And there is no one deal maker or deal breaker design that would sway me one way or the other. Thank you so much for watching. Forex Overland is truly independent of sponsors and that means our reviews and commentary cannot be influenced by commercial interests. I invite you to help us stay independent and enjoy our supporter exclusive content. Details in the video description.